The island of Haiti is still reeling and will be for some time from yesterday's devastating earthquake. Indications are that it could be millions of people among the 9 million people who live in Haiti have no place to live tonight. That's right, looking for shelter because the quake destroyed many of the buildings in Port-au-Prince. There's not an official death count just yet, and there may not, not be one ever. Haitian authorities say it could be more than 100,000 who are victims. Hospital schools and the main prison have all collapsed, and the U.S. State Department is working to get Americans home. About 160 of them are waiting at the airport in Port-au-Prince for the evacuations to begin. Earthquakes are certainly not uncommon in Haiti. Now, we mentioned earlier how vulnerable that area is, and let's go back to Patrick with uh, more on why this is such a vulnerable area. Well, this earthquake it was caused by the collision of continental and oceanic plates. They're warping, shearing, and kind of bending the island of Hispaniola, and that's what triggered the earthquake. Almost all earthquakes and volcanoes happen along these plate boundaries, along the Caribbean, uh, running up the west side of the North American plate. Green Bay, basically in the center of the North American plate, it's not something that we really need to worry about. North American and South American plates are both moving out towards the west-northwest, but the Caribbean plate is moving more northerly, which is bringing it in a collision with the North American plate. And that's what's caused and triggered the islands of Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and Cuba and Jamaica. Now, there are a number of faults running through this area, north and south uh, portions of the island of Hispaniola, especially some active faults, and then another very strong fault line just north of the island of Hispaniola. And when we zoom in a little bit closer, you can see here's Port-au-Prince in a valley between these two mountain ranges, here was the major earthquake. All of these other red dots are the aftershocks that we've seen since the major earthquake. And one of the big problems with this major massive earthquake is it was only 10 miles to the southwest of Port-au-Prince, Haiti, a city of 3 million people in a valley on loose soil. And that major 7.0 earthquake only 10 miles away, and when you have loose soils, that does cause the ground to shake quite a bit more violently than in some of the rocky soils up in the mountains.